Less than 5.9 .9 nature of the roots. So we started out doing something with what's called the discriminant. Now we're going to use that number to figure out what kind of parabola this is. Does it have um, two solutions that are rational numbers where they're nice fractions or whole numbers? Is it irrational where there's square roots left over? Or is it imaginary when we get a negative? So it all depends on the discriminant, which happens right here in the quadratic formula. And why that piece is important is because it is under the square root. So you should realize that as you were doing the quadratic formula problems, this number under here made a difference of if you could just go on and square root it, or if you had something left over, or if you had to take out i. That tells us something about the solutions. And I made this little flow chart. So how it'll help you is start here. If your discriminant is negative, that means you have a negative under a square root. That automatically means the roots are imaginary. So that's all you would do there. But if it's not negative, you would continue on. And that tells you the roots are real versus imaginary, right? Those are two opposite things. Then you would ask yourself, well, is it a zero? If that's yes, that means that the square root of zero is zero. That means you couldn't have your number plus or minus two different values. That means we're only getting one answer. But actually, it um, is going to have two roots that are equal. So it really is two answers that are the same number. But if it's not zero, then they're unequal, which means they're two different roots. And then if um, it's a perfect square, then they're rational answers, meaning there was no leftover square root. If not, they're irrational. So let's try some. We have to use our discriminant formula. D equals our B squared, which is negative 80, minus 4 times our A is 5, times we don't have a C is 0. So really just need to do negative 80 squared, which would be uh, 6, 4, 0, 0, right? Yeah, 6,400. Okay, so is it negative? No. So that means it's real. The answers are real. Is it zero? No. That means it's unequal. Is it a perfect square? I'm not sure. But yeah, it has to be because I squared 80 to get it, so the square root of it is actually meaning I'm getting an 80 out of that. But anyways, yes, it's a perfect square, so that means that the answers are going to be rational. So really what's happening is if I graph my parabola, um, it's going to open up, it's doing something where it has a solution at two different spots. All right, number two, D equals a negative, not negative, sorry, I was doing my quadratic formula, B squared minus four times A times C. Okay, go ahead and get that real quick. And you should get your discriminant is zero. So we didn't get a negative. That means it's still real. It is zero, so that means they're equal, and they're automatically rational. Obviously, you don't have anything left under the radical if you're squirting zero. So what you're getting on this one, since my parabola starts with a negative a value, it's going to open down. It's going to touch the x-axis in one spot, but it still technically has two solutions. They just happen to be at the same spot and the same number. Okay, and then number three, go ahead and find the discriminant. You should get negative 1080. Right away, we got that it's negative, so that means they're not real. They are imaginary. We don't classify imaginary as rational or irrational. They're just imaginary, so those are easier. And what that means is my parabola, it looks like it doesn't go through the x-axis at all. It might be floated up here to where see how it doesn't touch. So it looks like it has no solutions. Well, it's because they are imaginary solutions. Okay, go to the next page. And then this should go quicker because we're not doing any math. We're just thinking about the graphs. So if we have the real unequal roots, that means there's two different x-intercepts. 
If we have real equal roots, that means that our discriminant was zero, but it only touches the x-axis in one spot. And if it's imaginary, that means it looks like it has no solution. See where the vertex is? It never touches. So let's see if we could do this. Uh, based on each graph, what could be the value of the discriminant? So if this only has one x-intercept or two that are equal, that means the discriminant was zero. Okay, the next one, if we had two different um, roots, that means our discriminant is just some kind of positive number. It doesn't matter if it's a perfect square or not, but it can't be an imaginary and it can't be where it has two equal. This one, I don't see any x-intercepts, so the discriminant must have been negative. Go ahead and see if you can finish the next three. So this one would be 20 because it has two different uh, this one would be negative because it has looks like no solution, and this one would be zero because it has two equal solutions.